With this video, I'm going to go through the entire lesson on solving these systems of equations. Everything in this that we're going to do today, just about, except for the first one, will all be real life. Uh, and we're going to take a real life scenario, create some equations, uh, develop some equations, then solve them to find out um, values for certain things. All right, so that's what we're going to do, solving these real life equations. First one, this is kind of a warm up one. I want you to try to do this one here. Push pause on the video now. See if you can work out these two numbers here. And whenever you're ready, come back and push play. Okay, well, when we're doing these, we can always create equations for this. Find the value of two numbers if the sum is 15. So we've got two numbers. We can label them anything we want. Uh, I choose to use x and y. That's a common one in mathematics. So I just said x plus y equals 15. I have no idea what the two numbers are, but I just know that they add together to give me 15. Then we go, and their difference is 1. So x minus y equals 1. Uh, we don't know what the value of the two are. But now that we know this, um, we've got x and y are going to be the same. Or x in both of these is going to be the same. y in both of these two is the same as well. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I can use elimination. I see that I have a y that's addition and subtraction here. I can cancel those out. I can eliminate those by adding these two together. So I add the two together. I've got x plus x gives me 2x. y minus y gives me 0, so that's nice. 15 plus 1 gives me 16. So x, I find out that x equals 8. Well, now that I know that x equals 8, I can use that and plug it back into either equation. I can plug it into the first one or the second one. It doesn't matter. I'm going to choose the second one just for fun. So I've got 8 minus y equals 1. I subtract 8 from both sides. Negative y equals negative 7, so y equals 7. So now I know that x equals 7, y equals, excuse me, x equals 8, y equals 7. So my two numbers are 7 and 8. And I know what you're probably thinking, yeah, I could do that one without formulating these equations. But we're going to go through a lot of scenarios here that it will be a lot easier if you can formulate um, an equation first and then solve these. Well, let's look at some of these. So Matt and Kim each improved their yards by planting roses and shrubs. They bought their supplies from the same store, meaning they're the same cost um, per item. Okay, so Matt spent $55 on five roses and five shrubs. Kim spent $71 on five rosins and seven shrubs. What is the cost of one rose and one shrub? Okay, so we can create equations here. Well, um, we have to choose one. I'm just gonna say that x equals roses, y equals shrubs. Uh, you can choose a different variable if you'd like, maybe the first letter of your name. Maybe that'll make you feel good, that's fine. Whatever letter you want to is good. All right, so if I'm gonna do this one, let's talk about mats first. Matt, five roses, so five x plus five y equals 55, because he spent $55 on five roses, five shrubs. Now then let's do Kim. Kim, uh, five roses, so 5x plus 7y equals 71. Now that I have this, I can use elimination to solve this. So I want you to go ahead and do that now. If you're not sure how to use elimination, this video won't help you much there. Um, go back in and watch a previous video that I've got under solving systems of equations that will show you how to solve each one of these um, in detail. But um, go ahead and push pause now. I want you to go ahead and finish solving these ones. Okay. So hopefully you could have done this. Uh, we, we can eliminate this. We know we've got a 5x on top and a 5x on bottom. I just need to multiply one of the two by negative one. I chose to multiply the top. You could have multiplied the bottom if you wanted to. Uh, but that eliminated my x's here. Now the big thing here, we have y equals 8 and x equals 3. We have to remember, that's why I always write myself a note. X represents roses. Okay, so I know that 3, so that's the cost of the roses. Roses cost $3 each. Y represents the shrubs, so that's $8. I plug that in. Uh, shrubs cost $8 each. All right. Now, let's give you some more work here, um, some more practice. Push pause on the video now. Work through these two, uh, this, these two equations, this problem. Identify how much the cost of a couch is and how much the cost of a table is. After you've obtained your answer, come back and push play. So on this one here, this one got a little bit more complex only because trying to find uh, something that we could eliminate here, you could have eliminated your y's. I chose to eliminate my x's. Um, but either way would work just fine. You find out that the couch costs $1,500 and the table costs $1,000. Okay, now I want you to try this one. I want you to pay specific attention to how I want this one written. This is how you'll have to write it in the online uh, system. Okay, so I want you uh, to push pause on the video now. I'll work through this one. After you've obtained your answer, come back and push play. Check your answer here. Now this one's specifically stated 
um, that whenever you write your answer, write it, write it as adult, comma, child. Uh, no, um, no labels on it, just write adult, whatever the price for the adult is, comma, price for the child. So that would be the adult was 7, child was 11. I used x and y. You may have used a different variable. Either way is okay, though. Okay, this one is a current, um, so you're going to have to do current. You're going to have to list the current is maybe an X and the boat is a Y. Whatever you want to do there, switch the two. It really doesn't matter. Um, but go ahead and try these two. Push pause on the video now. After you've obtained your answer, come back and push play. Now, I did say there was two. There's one question with two different uh, equations on it. Check your answer here. Okay, we've got the two. Now, I've got X plus Y. Um, the two together uh, went 17. Okay, traveling upstream, it only went three miles per hour. But downstream, this would mean the current plus the boat because they're going to be added to each other. Uh, the boat, the current's going to help the boat go a little bit faster. So current plus boat, um, excuse me, boat I have as x. Boat plus current equals 17. Boat minus the current because you're going upstream is three, and then you solve both of these, and then you find out that the um, that the boat was going 10 miles an hour and the current was going 7 miles an hour. This one's a little bit trickier. Just read through it and make sure you understand that one. The first time you do it, after you do it once or twice, it's, this one's not bad at all. Okay, try this one now. After you've obtained your answer, come back and push play. Check your answer here. So we found out that the vans um, we're able to hold 17 people. The buses were able to hold 39 students. All right, try this one right now. After you um, push pause on the video now, after you've obtained your answer, come back and push play. Check your answers. Okay, so we find out that the cherry pie was $4 and the pumpkin pie is 14 So hopefully with this you're getting a little bit more uh, practice on these and that uh, you're feeling more comfortable with this. If you need to, go back in and watch the video again. I also have some other ones that you can watch online on my YouTube channel.